Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda Van Havermitt and I am a an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today I'm going to show you two more uh, alternative cards with the Beyond the Horizons Paper Pumpkin Kit. Uh, the Paper Pumpkin Kit, I always make, excuse my reach, I always make um, one of how it's designed to be made and I love this kit. I think it's so pretty. I The um, Beyond the Horizon Paper from the mini catalog is absolutely stunning and they hit the nail on the head with this kit um, and I love these designs I really do and I could I could honestly make all those designs um, just like this and be totally satisfied with it but I always like to also make um, some alternate designs with the paper pumpkin and this time um, Stampin Up gave us um, envelopes in the paper pumpkin that are printed so I always like to use those to me that's like getting free designer series paper so I like to cut those up um, to use them as designer series paper so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how um, I go ahead and do that I like you have to start I use a paper trimmer from stamping up um, and you need to start on your square edges so that you have a nice square cut so what I do first is I cut off my adhesive piece and I use that's just garbage so um, go ahead and cut it off usually about five and five point seven five so five and three quarters inch cut that off and just toss that it's uh, not really useful anymore then I cut about an eighth inch off so the width of the envelope is five and three quarters so I cut it at um, an eighth inch less which you would ask me that would be what five eighths <laughs> and then I go ahead and I cut turn it around and I cut the other side off another eighth of an inch so that is five and a half so those pieces are are just scrap so then you can open it up and you can see you've got this nice big spot of um, printed paper so I line that up with the, so I line the fold up or the um, score mark for the envelope it looks like it's about five and three quarters inch so I just trim that down so now I've got a nice square there's a little bit of trim here but we'll make that we'll work with that and you do have the score line for the flap but if you don't fold it a lot it's really it's not it's not really visible so we're going to use that and then this envelope this particular these particular envelopes are printed on the back so i'm just going to trim that off and that is another piece of scrap so now i've got a piece of looks like watercolored paper and that i will use for another project all right so i've got that piece of designers or that piece of envelope and i've already gone ahead and done the same thing with the yellow envelope and i'm going to use this piece as well so let's get our card base ready and then I will show you how to cut these. So I've got a piece of eight and a half, I'm sorry, 11 by four and a quarter um, card stock and this is basic gray. I'm going to score that down the middle at five and a half and then I'm also going to move it and I'm going to score it one more time. This is gonna be a fancy fold card. I'm gonna score it at four and a half also. This is gonna be a, a book binding fold. So I'm going to just fold and burnish that. And then I'm also going to fold and burnish along my second seam there. Okay. So that is my card base. And then I'm going to, let's cut our, um, our paper here. I am going to trim this piece. I love this pattern. I think it's so pretty. I am going to trim it at four inches and I'm going to get a one inch strip and I like to use this side for one inch a one inch strip that is going to go on the binding part of my card so right there and then I'm going to set this aside because I'm going to use it for my next card and I will use this piece again for something else that's a piece of scrap we do not throw things away right well we try not to throw things away all right, so now I am going to cut this at four inches, and I'll save this piece also for something different. 
and then I'm going to cut it this way at four and a quarter. So now I'm done with my trimmer. I'll save that piece for something else. So this is going to be my, oh, I'm going to need my trimmer. So that's going to be the base of my card right there. So let's attach those down. Oh, I forgot to, we'll put this on and then I'll show you how to, to uh, make the book binding fold. I'm going to line that up even with my, just like that. Oh, so pretty. I think, and it's so much fun because the colors totally coordinate, right? All right. I forgot to show you how to make the book binding fold. You need some very good adhesive. So you can use one, to, one of two things. You can use actually one of three things. You can use the stamp, Stampin' Plus. You can use tear and tape, or you can use Tombow glue um, inside of here. I'm going to use the tear and tape because it's just a little stronger than regular seal. And I'm going to use two pieces. I want that, I want to make sure that that's held down really, really well. Okay. I think tear and tape is something that's kind of overlooked in the catalog. I go through spurts where I use a ton of it because it does hold really, really well, especially if you burnish it really nicely. Okay. So, there is that. So that's our card base. I'm going to grab a piece of basic white cardstock, and I forgot to trim this before I started, so bear with me. I'm going to make a three by three square. All right. So here's my three by three square. I'm going to use the flower that came in the extra stamp set. I think it's so beautiful. It's such a pretty flower. So I am going to be using the Bumblebee ink. I'm going to be using pumpkin pie, old olive, and just a little bit of cinnamon cider. And guys, I'm not sure if you're aware, cinnamon cider is going out at the beginning of May. Um, if you don't have enough cinnamon cider in your world, which I'm not sure any of us can have enough cinnamon cider in your world, you're going to want to pick that up along with the uh, Misty Moonlight. That is also going away. Super great colors. Love them. All right. So I'm going to pull in my stamps here and open up my ink pads. And this stamp, uh, this flower builds so beautifully. It's so pretty. I love it a lot. All right. As I was holding, sitting them together, they stuck together. Okay, so I'm going to take the solid stamp and I'm going to ink it up in my bumblebee. And I'm going to stamp it straight down. Just hold it there for just a second and then straight up. I got a little uber, but that's okay because we'll hide that. We can close our yellow, our bumblebee. And then I'm going to take the um, lined flower part. The, I'm going to ink that up in pumpkin pie. I'm going to line it up. There we go. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. And then we've got our little, where's the little, I've got a stamp. <laughs> I've got a stamp, here it is. I put it back on my, um, the little circle. And I'm just going to use, let's see, I'll use the back of this. Do you ever feel that way? Like, oh, I've got, it, I've got everything, I've got my ducks in a row, I've got everything together. I'm gonna put that in cinnamon cider. And then you can't find what you're looking for. I just think that it's pretty to have the brown center. Seems very realistic to me. Rinse that off and put it back on my sheet. All right. And now 
I'm going to use old olive and I'm going to create some leaves on our, let's see here. I'm going to use the big leaf and I think I'm going to, is that the right way? I'm not sure. I just know that it's pretty like that and like that. I'm going to take the smaller leaf. I'm going to put the skinnier part down towards the bottom on that one. Like that. So pretty. I love it. And I don't want this double one to be lonely, so we'll put that one down there. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So pretty. All right. So let's bring this back in and I am going to take the ribbon that came with the kit and I think this is a beautiful ribbon it's very thin if you run out they didn't really give us a ton of ribbon because there's not a lot of a lot of ribbon on the um, projects that come with the kit but um, you can use the um, there is a pale papaya ribbon, the open weave ribbon. This would work as well for um, to go with the colors on the kit. So I am going to just run a couple of lines down my panel. And then I'm going to stick this down in kind of just a Z pattern. A backwards Z, maybe. And I just run it to the edge and then stick it down again and then run it back one more time. And that's a great way to use ribbon if um, you've got like, if you don't like tying bows and things like that, this is a great way to use ribbon to add a little bit of an accent without tying a bow. Cut, trim it off at just an angle there. Perfect. Set that aside. And so now I'm going to put that on just like that. All right, you know what? I think before I put that on, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna take my little um, corner rounder punch and do just two like that. I think that adds a little extra, don't you? I like that, I like it with the extra. Um, yes, I do. Okay, now let's find some dimensionals. And this is a rather big piece so we're going to put a couple extra dimensionals on because we don't want it to be saggy in the middle. Just like this. Do I want it like that? How do I want it? Let's go like this. Let's go like this. I'm so undecided. All right, just like that. All right, isn't that pretty? And then we need a sentiment. So I am going to use, um, where did it go? I've got the sentiment stamp here. <laughs> where did it go? All right, here it is. Sending you birthday wishes. And this was from the, the big cat, the big um, stamp set also with the that had the flowers on it. So I'm going to use Misty Moonlight Ink, which I guess I put away before I started the camera. So sending birthday wishes. What a beautiful sentiment. And I love the fonts on this, this set also. Super pretty. All right, and so I'm going to take my double oval punch and it fits so nicely in there. Punch that out. And then I've got a scrap of Misty Moonlight here that I'm going to stab, uh, punch out the bigger oval on, out of. So I'm going to put a little adhesive in the middle of that. Just like that. And then we will set that aside. We'll put that, <laughs> put that right there. Oh, what a day. 
And I'm going to actually trim up the edges because I only want a half of a dimensional on each spot. So I usually go through and I trim the edges of my dimensionals anyhow because you get a lot more dimensionals when you use them all up. So I'm going to put a dimensional right there and I'm going to put a dimensional at the bottom like that. And I'll put just a little bit of adhesive right there. And what I'm going to do is set it right on here. And so it'll stick and it'll still be bumped up nicely. Just like that. Oh, so pretty. So I've got a few of my um, My goodness, I'm telling you, <laughs> when I've got a camera on, everything just kind of blurs together. Um, I'm looking for my gems that came with the kit. And I can't find them, but I do know that these are very similar. And I'm sure that as soon as I shut the camera off, they're going to pop right out at me. But we're going to use the iridescent rhinestones from the um, big catalog. I'm sorry, the mini catalog. And we're just going to take a few of those off. I think they are very similar to um, what's in the kit. So there we go. There's card number one. Isn't that cute? I love it. If you needed to, you could maybe trim that a little smaller, um, but that's the book binding fold. So there we go. Card number one. All right, let's do a, one more card. So I'm going to... I'm going to be using this piece here one more time. So what I'm going to do is trim this up to three and a half inches this way. So I've got another little strip. And then I'm going to trim that into three one and one quarter inch strips. I like this side better. There was a white spot and I just... wanted to turn it. Okay, so then what else I am going to be using, I'm going to take this little piece, this element out of the kit. And I am going to take this really beautiful leaf element out of the kit. Like that. And then I've got a one inch scrap of basic white and I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. And then I have three black pieces. These are uh, three and five eighths by one and three eighths. So what I'm going to do, they're just a little bit bigger than my pieces here and I'm going to mat those directly on there. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is a super simple card. Simple, but very beautiful, very striking. And I like this designer series paper too because it was it could be used as a masculine card, so easy. Um, it doesn't definitely scream feminine, so that's, it could be used for either or, which just makes me happy. Last strip. just like that. So let's fold our piece of basic white and score that. All right, so I'm going to take these and I am going to place them in the middle. And what I like to do is kind of eyeball it, but then I place my first one, my first, my middle one first. So Let's do that. And I'm just using my stamp and seal on this. Okay. Then I'm going to place the other two. And I am a total eyeballer. If you want to use grid paper to make sure that this is lined up exactly perfect, you are totally free to do that. But I 
I like eyeballing it. I find crafting to be very relaxing and too much measuring takes the fun out of it for me. So I just eyeball it, which I think is fantastic. So I'm going to take this leaf here now and I'm going to place it on there. And to adhere it, I'm gonna use, um, because it's kind of, it needs to be stuck down, I'm going to use my Tombow glue and I'm just putting a little teeny tiny bit on the back of each leaf. This leaf has got nice and big um, white spaces that um, you can use the, the Tombow adhesive really easy on it. Okay. So let's put that down just like that. Pretty. I love it. Love it so far. Okay. And now I'm going to take my one inch scrap and I'm going to take the stamp that says hello. And this was from, um, this was from the stamps that the coordinates with the kit. Um, so it's got the big hello and I'm going to take my misty moonlight again. And remember with our photopolymer stamps, we like to use our, our stamp and pierce mat. And I know that I'm too big. Um, I'm too long for my piece of paper, but I can trim it. I don't need to, I'm not required to leave it that long. I just like to have a little extra room to make sure that I'm positioned where I want to be positioned. So I will go ahead and just give that a quick little trim just like that. And now I am going to take my adhesive and I'm going to put it right on just the very bottom of my card here or of my piece. And I'm going to, I'm not centering this necessarily on my little strip, but I am I'm making it so it sticks out a little bit. All right pretty. So now I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Trim that one up one more. All right. And I'm going to put this on just like that. Isn't that pretty? Ah, oh, I love it. It's it's not a it's not a really tricky card. Um and I don't think it needs any embellishments any more than just that. I think that that is just perfect. So, there are my two examples. I thank you so much for uh joining in today and tuning in and watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this project, if you have any questions at the sizes and dimensions, they are in the description of this video. Please tune in again and thank you so very much for watching. Bye-bye.